Hey everyone, it's Casey. So, if you follow me basically on any social media platform, you know that I just got back from a youth camp called CCYC. Honestly, this was the best week of 2018, probably. Or at least so far. And I just want to talk about it and tell y'all about it. So let's get There are so many reasons that made this the best week of 2018, or at least for me. But this also makes it the best week of CCYC I have had. I've been to CCYC six times now. This year was so refreshing for me, friendship-wise, spiritually, physically, <laughs> and all sorts of ways. So let's just start with the first day and talk about it from there. This year, I absolutely loved my team. I practically knew everybody on my team already except one guy, and he was awesome the whole week. I didn't even have to, like, try to get to know him. He basically got to know me, if that makes any sense. My whole team was just so amazing. I think we got in eighth place. The thing for this year was the Olympics, and as you know, in the Olympics, there's different countries, and our country for the week was Portugal. So we had to come up with a name, add a P and a 2 to go along with it. So we called ourselves the Powerful Portuguese. And each team got their own team flag that goes along with their country. So throughout the weeks we just do different activities, volleyball, softball, soccer, different activities that go along with the Olympics too. But in a wacky sort of way that makes it fun, funny, and enjoyable for everybody. The speaker this year this year, I especially love the speaker because he was so easy to understand. You didn't have to try to look for the message or try to understand what he was saying. You understood what he was saying the minute he started talking. And from the first night to the last service of the week, God spoke to me the entire week about situations that nobody even knows about. And the situation some people do know about there were parts that they don't know about that he spoke about that could help me. The thing that kind of I want to mention, even though like some of my viewers don't know about this, is each year in the dining hall where we eat our breakfast, lunch, and supper, there used to be rows of tables, but they had to switch that up and make them round tables for safety reasons. A few months ago, my pastor did a sermon about rows and circles about how it's easier to communicate in circles instead of rows. And after seeing this week of sitting in circles at breakfast, lunch, and supper, it was so amazing to see how we connected in circles. I remember one day I was talking to some girl about a bus ministry, and then the next day we were just talking about how our churches are growing. And I can't really remember a time when we talked about that stuff when we were sitting in rows. That's something like little and simple, but it spoke volumes to me. Let's talk about worship, because that's always the thing to talk about. This year, a song that stuck out to me, I've heard it a thousand times before, but this year it stuck out to me because of one simple line. The song was Greatest Thy Faithfulness, and the one line that spoke out to me the entire week, all that I have needed, thy has provided, thy being God. But how that spoke out to me was, all that I have needed. Not that I have wanted, but what I have needed, God has provided. And I never looked at it that way. God isn't going to provide what I want. He's going to provide what I need. So that also spoke out to me this week. My favorite things about this week was skit slash talent night. Each year we perform skits live and perform a talent live if you sign up for the talent show, but the skits your team has to do. This year we had to film our skits, and as y'all know, I love to film and edit, so I kind of got put in charge of the filming and editing process of the whole skit. I will post the skit in a separate video on YouTube, and it will probably be the one right after this video, so y'all can see. And our skit was based off the story of the tortoise and the hare, but getting to Jesus with all your distractions in life. So stay tuned for that video. I really don't want to get much into it because I've explained it a thousand times this week. Talent night, there were so many great talents and I just can't put it all into words about how these people use their talents for God. 
Now, none of y'all are really gonna know about this unless you actually went to CCYC or know of CCYC. In the area of this camp, which is my hometown, it's also held at my school slash church, we have this big stage in literally, I'm gonna call it the backyard of the school and church. And we actually held the skits and talent night there, and it was it's so hard to put into words unless you were actually there. The only bad part about camp this year, and only the guys are gonna know about this, was the guys' dorm. I stayed in my church's youth center along with some college guys and most of the guys from my youth group. And boys' dorms sting most of the time, and that was the only down part of the week, but other than that, the week was amazing. I really can't put in the words how amazing this week was. Everybody's saying it was their favorite year of CCYC ever, and it really was my favorite year. I got to make some new friends, and I got to reconnect with some old ones. Speaking of friends, let me talk about something. I saw some friendships form this past week that I never would have saw coming, and that it just speaks to me how this camp can make a person become friends with somebody. And I, even though I doubt that watches, but I'm still gonna give them a shout out. Shout out to the people who created this camp back in 2004. So much time and energy into it, and I really appreciate everything they have done for this camp. Along with all the other adults and even some teenagers who have put their time and effort into making this camp possible because this camp would not be where it is today without a lot of a lot of hands so if you want to know more about this camp i'm gonna try to put a link in the description below maybe possibly but if i don't the website you can look up is carolinachristianyouthcamp.com i think it is not really sure and if you ever get a chance to go to this camp i really really recommend it it is so good for your mind and spiritual life and everything. This video could be so much longer, but it's late and I told myself I need to get this video done because I have so many videos in the future coming up. So that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you went to CCYC, participated in CCYC, or was at CCYC in any way, shape, or form, and what was your favorite part if you were there? Or comment down below if you have questions about it too. Please subscribe and have a great rest of your week everyone. Bye.